Hello and welcome to this new tutorial where I'll show you how to install and set up the required tools in order to program your Raspberry Pi Pico on a Windows machine. So without any further delay, let's get started. In this tutorial, I'll show you to use Microsoft Visual Studio Code as the IDE. But if you want to program your Pico with Eclipse IDE or C Lion, I made a separate video on that too, to check that out. This video assumes that you have not installed any of the tools mentioned already, but if you have, do feel free to skip any of them. So let's take a look at them. First of all, we need to install ARM GCC compiler, CMake software, Visual Studio Code extension, C++ build tools for Visual Studio Code 2019, Python 3.7, and Git. I understand that it might get quite comprehensive, but stay tuned with me, I will keep it very simple. Link to all the tools are given in the description box below. Let us first download the GNU ARM embedded toolchain. We will get the 10 2020 major release executable file. Once the download is complete, hit install and you will be prompted for Windows permission. Allow it. Following which the installation wizard would appear. Keep everything as default. Once you complete the installation, ensure that you tick the box which says add path to environment variables, then hit finish. Administrator command prompt would open up from an installation directory implying that you have successfully installed the toolchain. Close it and we move on to install the CMake software. Download the Windows 64-bit installer, which is CMake 3.19.4 MSI file. Let it download. Once the download is over, click to install. CMake setup wizard would appear. Click next and accept the license agreement. In installer options, to ensure that you select the option saying add CMake to system path for all users. Keep the destination folder of installation as it is and install. Alright, next we have Visual Studio 2019. Scroll down to download the build tools for Windows. Click to install and Visual Studio installer would download and install the necessary files. Just make sure when you are asked to choose any of the tools, check and select the C++ build tools option. This process is going to take a while, so have patience. Once everything is installed, it will ask you to reboot the system, but I won't do it now, I will restart after installing everything. There itself we can find Visual Studio Code. I have already installed it, but if you want to download the Windows 64 bit version and the installer looks something like this, it is quite simple, you won't have any trouble installing it. Next up, we have to install Python 3.7. Choose the right version, download, and install. I already have Python in my Windows, so I won't install it again. But in your case, when you are asked to choose the following option, make sure that you have selected Add Python 3.7 to Path. And then you can install. It is quite easy. You won't have any problem. The last software to download is Git. Download the 64-bit Git for Windows setup. I have downloaded it earlier. Let me open it from Downloads folder. Git setup wizard will appear. Click next for agreement. Let it be the default destination where it is going to install. Click next until when you get to choose the default editor as well. Change it to your preferred editor, either Notepad++ or VS Code as per your choice. Next, let Git decide the default branch. Next, keep things as default, but when you are asked, Ensure that you tick the checkbox to allow Git to be used from third-party tools and command prompt. Move on to next. 
then you will also need to check the box which says check out as is and commit as is. Further, ensure that you select use windows as default console window. Leave everything else as it is. Keep them default and install. Once we have downloaded each and every tool, it's time to restart your system. After restarting, go to start, open up developer command prompt for Visual Studio Code 2019, run it as administrator. It will open up the command prompt inside C Windows System32 folder. Use the bash command cd space double dot two times to come out of that directory directly into C drive. I have already created a folder in C drive under users as Pico and, it, and within Pico I have created another folder named downloads. Let us get to the Pico downloads directory with the following commands cd space users then cd space Pico then cd space download. Alright, once we are inside the download folder, I will clone the master repository for Pico SDK from GitHub. It failed earlier because I lost internet connectivity. Then I will enter into the Pico SDK folder which is just created. Update the submodule and come out of the directory. Now again I will clone the master repository to download all the Pico examples from GitHub. Once this step is done, set the Pico SDK path to double dot backslash double dot backslash Pico hyphen SDK. Now close your current command prompt and open up a second command prompt to apply the environment variable changes made. Enter into Pico examples folder. Line by line commands are on the display. Pause the video to follow them. Make a folder build. Enter into the build folder and write in the command cmake hyphen g and make make a files. As you can see, the cross compiler has been correctly identified as GNU 10.2.1. Some of you might face build failure at this point or somewhere next during the VS Code configuration. Follow the end of the video to find a possible solution. I am aware of it because I faced the similar issue. And finally, type in nmake. As you can see, it has started to build each and every example that we have downloaded from GitHub. It will generate elf file, .uf2 file, binary file and hex file for each of the following project like Blink, Hello World, etc. So it is going to take quite a while. Grab a cup of coffee, sit back and relax. So that's how you build the files from command prompt. Let us configure our VS code to do so. But do not open the VS code from desktop icon. Open up your developer command prompt, run it as administrator and type in code. This will open up Visual Studio Code with all correct environment variables set so that the toolchain is correctly configured. Now in order to have it configured from the desktop icon itself, it can be done manually. For that we need to go to extensions, then search there CMake tools. Install the CMake tools. It will install both CMake tools as well as CMake. Then at the bottom left of the VS Code IDE, you will find out a cog wheel. Click the cog wheel, which is nothing but settings. Head on towards extensions. It is possible that you might not get the CMake tool configurations. For that, you need to reload the ID from the command prompt itself. Let us do that. Alright, now it is showing the CMake tool configurations in the extensions. Crawl down and find CMake configure environment. Click on add item and set the pico underscore stk underscore path to be 
डॉट डॉट बैक स्लैश डॉट डॉट बैक स्लैश पीको हाइफन एस डी के एडिशनल यू विल नीड टू स्क्रॉल डाउन फर्दर टू सी मेक जेनरेटर एंड एंटर एन मेक मेक फाइल्स इन द बॉक्स इट इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेप If you do not change the CMake generator, Visual Studio will default to Ninja and build might fail. Now close the settings page and go to file menu. Click on open folder and navigate to Pico examples repository. And hit okay. You will be prompted to configure the project. In case you aren't prompted you will find it at the bottom blue bar can you observe a toolkit icon below in my case it is showing arm tool chain but in your case it might be showing not detected because it was not prompted so it would be written over there no kit selected press that button and change it to gcc for arm non eab 10.2 then click on build to run the cmake file As promised we are going to discuss some of the common errors that you might face and provide solution to that first one is conflicting arm toolchain if you have an older version of arm gcc toolchain then cmake might get confused with the older one and hence unable to find supporting files for rp2040 the solution to this is uninstall both the versions of the toolchain and along with that uninstall cmake as well reinstall both of them again and this should suffice the next up you might stuck in visual studio code configuration where it would say unable to determine cmake generator to use this might happen if you mess up in between steps or you try to open visual studio code from desktop icon uninstall the cmake tools and redo the steps from cloning the github repositories it will fix the problem and if you face the problem that python.exe is not found then you might have to change the symbolic link so that the make file can identify python3 you have installed for that navigate to the directory where python is installed and write in the command mklink python3.exe python.exe this should no longer be necessary however if the build fails because make can't find your python installation you should add the same link to the executable that may resolve things so that's how you set up a build environment on a windows machine to program your pico using visual studio code if you found this video helpful do not forget to press the like button it keeps you motivated to make more such videos and if you are new to the channel press that red subscribe button hit the bell notification to stay updated for latest pico tutorials and projects until next time see you soon bye bye